Jamie with the Originality AI here. So I'm just going to be creating a short tutorial today for our new content optimizer tool. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is enter our primary key phrase. So we're going to be searching for AI in this instance. We're then going to grab this piece of content that I've written. And we're going to compare it to the top 10 similar URLs that I aspire my content to be like. So I'm looking for a similar keyword density to these articles. Click submit here. And then we can see on the right hand side, this is where it gets interesting. So we have our own percentage density, so 2.5%. The sample count, average sample count. So this is the average number of times this particular keyword appears in each of the URLs. And the same goes for the percentage density here. And on the final column, we can see the increase decrease. This is the number of word occurrences need to, needed to reach sample percentage density. So this is indicating we need to add the word content roughly five times to reach the sample percentage density of 4%. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see a couple of different buttons. We can click on show keyword highlighting. And what that's going to do is just open up a simple text editor. And it's going to highlight the top five keywords from the text in one particular color. And then highlight the primary keyword in another color. We have a couple of other options as well. We can download the CSV here. If I open this up. And that's actually going to give us every single key phrase that our tool detected. This is just to give you a lot of data um, for you to be able to pass through, check for different keywords. It, it will return up to four word key phrases. So that's pretty interesting. And finally, we have this button here, which is the export GPT prompt. So if I click on that and then I open chat GPT, if I paste this content, it's best to use with GPT-4. So our prompt is just saying, please expand on the following article by creating three new paragraphs, each containing at least three sentences and including the following keywords. So from those increases, we're asking ChatGPT to input that particular keyword this number of times. It doesn't really work for the removal of keywords, but it works for the addition of keywords. So we'll just wait for this to be done. So this is just giving us three new paragraphs that we could potentially input into our content. If I just simply copy and paste this. Oh, it's creating us a little extra paragraph, but we'll just use the three of them. And I am just gonna enter this just before the final paragraph here. And then go down and submit again into my primary key phrase once again. And we're just looking to increase this overall score. So it's plus one point for results within the target range. So results that are indicated by the green background and negative one for instances with no occurrences. So that would be in this case, for example, the word detector appears zero times. So that would be a negative one to our overall score. So I've added that in, we're trying to increase it from 15%. And it's increased it by 10%. So that means that most likely two of these, uh, we can see here detector is now in there three times. So that's great. So you can use this tool just to iterate over your content and just try and continually improve and reach a similar percentage density to that of the competition. This is created as a free alternative to the likes of Market Muse and Surfer SEO. If you'd like to check it out, please go to originality.ai slash content optimizer. And it's a free tool and you can check it out today. Thanks very much for watching.